what do the settings mean on a Makita drill? So this is a relatively new Makita drill. We've got some numbers around here and we've got some settings here. So drill mode. When your drill is on drill mode, it uses the full power of the drill to turn the spindle with no restrictions. So I use my drill every day as a professional and I tend to 99% of the time just have my drill set to this as it gives me maximum power all the time. Now, if you're putting screws in, you can set it to screw mode. When it's in, only when it's in screw mode can you use this setting here. And this will determine how much torque is applied before the drill starts to slip. So you can tell it's in screw mode and it's starting to slip when it makes this noise. You can hear that that's the drill. Allowing the, allowing the spindle to slip slightly so that the screw doesn't get tightened in more than it needs to. The final setting on the top here is hammer mode. So you can see we've activated hammer mode now and now your drill is ready to drill a hole in masonry or brick. So the hammer setting gives the drill a slight percussive force and just helps impact the drill bit against, against the masonry to help it drill a hole. So the only time you ever have it on hammer mode is if you're drilling into stone, brick or concrete Screw mode, if you're putting screws in and you're wanting to be cautious. Otherwise, I normally just leave it set in drill mode and use the variable trigger to control my drill rather than these settings around the outside edge. One other set setting selector you have is speed one and speed two. So in speed one, it just rotates the drill slowly. It gives you more control and more torque. I normally have it on speed one when I'm putting screws in. It just gives you a bit more control and helps you to drive the screw in without it spinning in the screw head. And then when I'm drilling a pilot hole, I normally set it into speed two for speed and I don't need as much torque. As you can see, the drill spins a lot faster. Here's you've got forward and reverse. So if you watch the drill bit now, you can see it's turning one way. And if I flick this switch across, you can see the drill bit goes in reverse. So those are all your settings on a Makita drill and this is pretty much standard across the board. From the DIY range to the professional range, all you ever have is these three settings here, two speed settings, and then give you screw, your screw adjustment settings here.